What's up guys? Welcome to the Maintenance Man channel. My name is Neil. We're going to tear down this Duox impact charger. Cracked when it fell. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please get subscribed. I'd greatly appreciate it. I have contacted them. Told them the tool took a fell. A fall. A fell um and cracked and sent them pictures so i'll see what their response is like i mean listen i don't advocate people to buy inexpensive tools at the same time this was a hundred bucks now it's up to 119 on amazon and uh that's that's a pretty penny to spend on a a duox brushless impact driver though i did like the size and the features of it um it got blown up by the rigid in the tool test live let's tear into this thing see what we got going on <laughs> I'm not going to be able to tell you the parts too well, but take that off. So here's the control board. Now this, some sort of metal, maybe a heat sink, Ugh. has tight fitment. So it's PA6 glass fiber reinforced 30 plus TPE. It's actually fairly rigid there. Here's where it broke on the inside, but you can see that it's a stiff plastic. The over molding has the anchor points pretty good in there all the way through, even on the inside. So here's where the battery plugs in. Let's be stupid here. And whatever it did, it messed up the controls from the battery up to the top. What I'm looking at, they got this all. Sorry if I'm, my noggin's in the way. They got that all gobbed up, goobed up good. You got your leads there. Positive, negative. Very variable speed trigger. I'm not seeing too much wrong with this in terms of build quality it has this like stuff st sticks down all the wires get that out so here's the brushless motor There's the bearing on the back. Let's pull this out. Again, I mean, the quality seems pretty decent there goes up here's the uh, the hammer anvil end Let's see if we can't get in there Looks like this ring might be pressed on. I can see the gears in there. It's got a good bit of goob up 
Well, that's about as far as I think I can get. That's press fit on there. This actually seems I don't know if the head is metal. The chuck is. It's sticking to here, but I don't know if it's just the gears inside that's sticking to. Well, I think that's as far as we're going to get, which sucks, but let's go into the battery. That yeah, might work. Where'd my hyper tough go? T10 Yeah, T10 I liked that the bottom of the batteries are rubberized It's a feature I miss from the Ryobi's it just makes sense So in terms of the battery here Two chips on the sides and these are 2,000 milliamp hour 3.6 volts and there's one two three four five and this is supposedly a 21 volt drill so not gonna mess with the battery too much just wanted to give it a their new name brand that I can see. Don't know what that does. Like so. And this slides this way. <laughs> Stickers back on. Definitely never messed with. These must be high security stickers. Light works. Go from there, see what happens. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.